Trace mineral status is uh, uh, generally it's measured uh, multiple ways. One of the ways is just what are the calves consuming? So that's just an analysis of the feedstuffs. So the forages and supplements and maybe the salt-based supplements as well. Just an analysis of the formulation of those products or the, the resident amount of trace mineral in the forage. That's one way to uh, estimate trace mineral status. The two most limiting trace elements for, for grazing beef cattle in the United States are generally copper and selenium. Copper is almost always limiting throughout the United States and then selenium is, uh, 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 is limiting primarily in the western United States and in the southeastern United States. Uh, both of these elements can be measured in soft tissue and generally uh, the liver tissue is one that we, uh, we, we look at a lot. Blood measurements, particularly for uh, selenium, can be quite good. Uh, other elements such as manganese or zinc or copper in blood is generally a poor indicator. And so these three uh, concepts, analysis of the, the, the feedstuffs that the calf is consuming, possibly blood analysis, and then coupled with soft tissue analysis such as the liver, can all be uh, indicators of, uh, of trace mineral status of the calf.